Coming to the seventh problem, evaluate the following using suitable identities. So the first one given to us is 99 whole cube. So 99 can be written as 100 minus 1. So 99 whole cube becomes 100 minus 1 whole cube. So in order to evaluate this, let us use the sixth identity which is x minus y whole cube is equal to x cube minus y cube minus 3xy multiplied by x minus y. So if we compare this with the sixth identity, we will be getting the x as 100 and y as 1. So replace x with 100 and y with 1. So 100 minus 1 whole cube becomes 100 cube minus 1 cube minus 3 times of x is 100 and y is 1 multiplied by x minus y is nothing but 100 minus 1. So this is 100 cube minus 1, 3 times of 100 multiplied by 1 is 300 and 100 minus 1 is 99. So this is equal to 10 lakhs minus 1. So 300 multiplied by 99 is 27,900 so 10 lakhs minus 1 minus 27,900 gives 9,70,299 therefore 99 whole cube is equal to 9,70,299 Coming to the second one, which is 102 whole cube. So 102 can be written as 100 plus 2. So 102 whole cube can be written as 100 plus 2 whole cube. So in order to evaluate this expression, we need to make use of the fifth identity, which is x plus y whole cube is equal to x cube plus y cube plus 3xy multiplied by x plus y. If we compare the given expression with the standard identity, we can write x as 100 and y corresponds to 2. Therefore, 100 plus 2 whole cube can be written as 100 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 times of 100 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 100 plus 2. So 100 whole cube is 10 lakhs and 2 cube is 8. 3 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 2 is 600 and this is 100 plus 2. So this is equal to 10,000. 10 lakhs plus 8 plus 600 multiplied by 100 is 60,000 and 600 multiplied by 2 is 1200. So 10 lakhs plus 8 plus 60,000 plus 1200 is equal to 10 lakhs 61,208. Therefore, 102 whole cube is equal to 10 lakhs 61,208. Coming to the third bit, which is 998 whole cube. So, 998 whole cube can be written as 1000 minus 2 whole cube. So, for the evaluation of 998 whole cube, we can use the sixth identity which is x minus y whole cube is equal to x cube minus y cube 
minus 3xy multiplied by x minus 1. So if we compare the given expression with the standard identity, we'll be getting x as 1000 and y as 2. So 1000 minus 2 whole cube can be written as x cube is nothing but 1000 cube and y cube is 2 cube minus 3xy is nothing but minus 3 times of 1000 multiplied by 2 multiplied by x minus y is nothing but 1000 minus 2 so 1000 cube can be written as 10 to the power of 9 and 2 cube can be written as 8 3 multiplied by 1000 multiplied by 2 is 6000 and this is 1000 minus 2 this becomes 10 to the power of 9 minus 8 6000 multiplied by 1000 is 60 lakhs and 6000 multiplied by 2 is 12,000 minus multiplied by minus is plus plus 12,000 so 10 to the power of 9 minus 8 minus 60 lakhs plus 12,000 gives 99 crores 40 lakhs 11,992 therefore 998 whole cube is equal to 99 crores 40 lakhs 11,992